in ocean beside fishes. There are many beautiful and interesting invertebrates. Most invertebrates absorb various elements in seawater to sustain life. Hence, if any activated carbon is being used, remove it before keeping any invertebrates. Furthermore, all kinds of invertebrates are vulnerable to toxic medicine and heavy metal elements. A small amount of NH3, NH4, NO2, copper, or formalin can kill them. Slightly high of NO3 will make their health worse and dying gradually. The varieties introduced here are able to live in general small fish tank environments. They can live in 28 Celsius degree water temperature and medium illumination. They are easy for beginners to feed. Shrimps and crabs are often kept in reef tank. Few of them eat one kind of food only. Most shrimps and crabs are onivore. They look for foods on bare rocks and sand beds including surface foods, microorganisms, algae crumbs, excrement of fishes and corals, decaying unhealthy coral body parts and dead bodies. So, reef tanks of medium size or above always have some shrimps and crabs as the scavengers to clean places that is out of reach. One or two shrimps may be put in the small reef tank for much rich view. Cleaning shrimp is very popular for reef tanks. Red color with a white strip line from head to tail on its back. Very eye catching. All fishes living in the coral reef recognized it as an unique banner of doctor. Even fishes hunting shrimps don't attack them. Instead, they swim friendly toward them. The fish opens gills and mouth. The cleaning shrimp climbs on the fish body, uses its pliers to find any parasite on the fish's body, gills and mouth to eat. That's why it is named as cleaning shrimp. Banded coral shrimp has a pair of huge pliers with red and white streams, but only use them for defense, not for hunting for foods. But pay attention, it has strong domain awareness. When the living area is not well enough, it is hostile to other shrimps. During walking around to find food at night, it may attack other shrimps. So, if keep it with other shrimps, the smaller of it, the better. Anemone crab Around 1.5 to 2 cm in size, it's a very small crab. It uses the high leg to grab the tentacles of sea anemone, coral, or bar rock to stabilize itself while facing to the tolerate of water stream. The two nests besides its mouth open and mash any microorganism to it. The food intake of crabs is quite large. For crabs other than anemone crab, when they cannot find any food and are very hungry at night, they may hunt any sleeping small fishes for food. Crabs walking around in the tank to find foods. That would not down corals and might make them hurt. Hence, for small reef tank, beginners should keep anemone crab only, but not other. Shrimps 
and crabs are sensitive to water temperature. If the water temperature has great difference, the weak shrimp or crab may die once be put into the tank water. Therefore, before put the new shrimp or crab into the tank, need to do equalize water temperature. Place the bed on the water surface that equalize the water temperature of the bed to the tank. The shrimp or crab in the bed is adapting the tank water temperature slowly. If the reef tank water condition is good, may put the shrimp or crab into the tank without doing water change for them. If broken is antenna or leg, unfortunately, don't worry, a new one will go out again. Moreover, for enough KH. And CA in the water, they will find a safe place at night to molt and become bigger size. To warm the slender body, screed layer after layer of screens, glomerate into a parchment-like roll to protect the body. Insert it into the sand bed or barrel cavity. It sticks slowly and anchors on it. Colorful, fertilized tentacles go around the mouth, with a little mucus to catch microorganisms in the water to eat. Sea anemone, in the classification of body structure, it is the member of coral family, because its behavior is very different from all other corals. Sea anemone is always treated as another kind when raising it. Different species have different tentacles, shapes, and length, and different colors of bodies below tentacles. Both body and tentacles can be filled with water. The body can erect after filled with water. Tentacles stretch outward. And wave after filled with water. Tentacles of all sea anemone have stinging cells, which are invisible to eyes. They secrete mucus to catch microorganism, and grab them into the mouth to eat. Almost all sea anemones' mucus have ingredients that. Are enough to parasite a small fish. The parasitic fluid string and amount of some anemones are strong enough to catch the large creature. Hence, some little devils like to live around sea anemones to scare away any large fish hunting them. Only crown fishes can touch sea anemones without harm. And even high in the tentacles, some smart clown fishes display great initiative in going to move food or paralyzed fish into the mouth of the anemone. Establish a very close symbiotic relationship. However, some varieties of anemones attract many kinds of clown fishes. Few anemones varieties only attract one or two species of clown fishes. Anemone paralytic fluid can cause itchy to human skin. People with sensitive skin touch the anemone with strong paralytic fluid. They will get allergic reactions such as redness and itching. It usually takes a week for. Teaching methods. If your skin is sensitive, wear gloves before touching the anemone. For long-term raising of anemone, you need to feed them. Otherwise, it will gradually lose weight and shrink. Different anemones have different food intake amounts. For beginners, right now. Once every week, feed a dried creole 
half of our crumb meat, or use a pipette to suck some defrosted brine shrimps and extrude them out near the tentacles around the center of the anemone. Let the tentacles stick the shrimps easily, while keeping a life of the anemone. It doesn't produce much pollution to water. Sea anemone excretes and it excretes a lot. It opens the mouth while excreting. Sometimes it may expose small portion of the intestines and release a long and thin, dirty brown excrement. This state is sometimes mistaken as the sign of sea anemone death. While the sea anemone excretes, the tentacles and body still have elasticity. The tentacles are shaken by the water flow from time to time. If the sea anemone was dying, the body and all tentacles lose water filling capacity and hang down helplessly. The body lost elasticity and opened the mouth completely, exposed all internal organs out. If took it out from water, a very strong fishy smell was released from the body. The dead anomaly body produced large amounts of ammonia and harmful proteins. Do not hesitate when it happened. You must remove it from the reef tank immediately. Sea anomaly can move. It moves to a safe place with comfortable water flow. Drill the bottom body below tentacles into the barrel cavity or the sand bed. Stick tightly to any surface or sand pile so as to fix itself at the place. Hence, if there is a filter suction pot in the tank, wrap a piece of plastic net around the suction pot to prevent the anemone from drilling into it. At least wait for it to stay at a place for one week. Ensure it will not move to another place and you may unwrap the net. In addition, beginners must not rush to scoop out the anomaly sticking to the bar rock or glass for moving it to another location. Once the fin underside is torn accidentally during removal, the anomaly will die very soon. Violent living competition between different species of anomalies. Don't let them to touch each other. Otherwise, they secrete some compounds to burn each other, make the weaker one to die. Moreover, almost all corals are vulnerable to touch off sea anomalies. Corals will be burned and die very soon. When the anomaly feels comfortable in the water condition, it likes to fill with water and enlarge several times of size. It occupies a lot of space. When feel very good of living, they will even split into two pieces. Proceed a sexual reproduction. Considering sea anomalies, pollution amount, mobility, size variety, and probability of split. The anomaly in small reef tank should be small. The variety and quantity should be kept less. Bint sea anomaly, commonly in light brown color and translucent. Few of them are in pale green color. Bint light swellings on tentacles looks like octopus tentacles. Although the color is not very bright, it is a good choice 
with low prices and relative large tolerance to water quality and temperature. Bubble tape anomaly, commonly in red and green color. Sometimes clownfishers would like to suck the bubble tape of the tentacle. This action may keep the bubble tape always up. Besides, the bubble tape may also up after the anomaly ate foods. If lack of light or unsuitable color temperature for a long time, the bubble tape may narrow down to strip shape. Delicate sea anemone, commonly in many colors, for example, yellow, light green, white, pale red, brown. The tentacles are short and dense. There is a purple dot at the end of the tentacle. It is rather to drill into the sand bed than Barrow's cavity. Except clown and maroon clown fishes. Other kinds of clown fishes don't like to lie on it unless frosted to. Tube anomaly. Its tentacles are different from other sea anomalies. Even clown fishes don't touch its tentacles. Its tentacles are very long and thin, which cover large area. They cannot enlarge by filling with water. The tentacles retract into the body while in danger. Tube anemone bottom body releases tickets. A woven Fibrous is produced to wrap its body, protect the body from any attack. Tube anomaly has many varieties. Beginners may not be able to distinguish them correctly. Generally, all tube anomalies need to live in good and stable water condition. For variety with tentacles and center parts in brown color, it likes to live in warm water. For variety with tentacles or center parts in bright color, it likes to live in cold water. Though require high water condition to keep them. Its price is low. And so beautiful fluorescent color under high color temperature of light. If switch on a blue fluorescent tube at night, you will see a fantastic vision in the rift tank. So, when the rift tank become good and stable, beginners may try to keep them. In next episode, I will introduce corals suitable for small reef tank. Press subscribe for next episode showtime.